everyone. Welcome to our class today. My name is Christine. Today's class is going to be a little different. We're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to do a new workout, which is going to be a Pio. And Pio is a combination of Pilates and yoga. So that will give us a lot of muscle strength, build long lean tone, as well as work on our breathing and of course our core and our abdominals. So basically what we're going to do is combine elements and fuse them together of yoga and Pilates. And again, we'll be doing a little cardio movement that will get our heart rate up as well. But again, we're going to um, do a couple of new things to really enhance uh, what we've been working on. So let's get started. First, I wanna go over our posture. What I don't wanna see is this. I don't wanna see you down low. I really want you to elevate your body. And again, I talk about having a hard surface underneath you that will lift your hips tighten again contract those abdominals and think that string lifting so we're sitting nice and tall now very slowly we're going to take a deep breath up lift and exhale come forward again inhale all the way up hold and exhale release let's do that one more time reach hold right there and exhale come forward excellent now sit up really tall in that chair and watch those shoulders you don't want to round them you want to really open that chest keep that neck long now gradually let that head go side to side taking our time over and over two more one and two now our head is in the center we're going to slowly extend our arms in front of our body extend our left heel so again don't point that toe flex let's bend our elbow and slowly wrap it around deep breath in and exhale and with these exercises especially the yoga poses we really want to focus on breathing enough so don't hold the breath as you exhale so you see how my shoulder just drops my head faces my arm and i extend it out just flexing my wrist keep that head long right there now slowly open bring that left foot in right heel flexed wrap it around remember don't place the hand on the joint on the upper arm just turn inhale and exhale get a nice long stretch drop that shoulder and flex that palm let the head look towards the arm and relax the neck now let's increase our stretches here a little bit we want to hold them at least for 20 seconds as we breathe deeply keeping our abs nice and firm we hold it right there just stay come back around to the center and release now let's kind of just shake everything out now slowly nod that head forward and lift it up again. Nod forward and up one more time. Forward and up. Now let's separate our feet, taking our hands. Again, never compress or place the hands on top of the joint. Underneath. Now let's sit tall and we go into that cat-cow stretch, contracting. Exhale. Now deep breath in. Sit really tall, release those shoulders. Again, exhale. Drop that head, round that back, stay right there. Slowly grow taller out of the hips. Two more times, we wanna exhale. All the way down. And slowly sit up, one last time. Exhale down, hold. Again, I feel my abdominals contracted to my lower back. Then I stack one vertebrae on top of the other, sitting nice and tall. Excellent. Now let's reach that left arm down, right arm up. Deep breath in and exhale. Now look up towards that arm, just hold. Stay right there. Now slowly turn that body and open that palm. Relax that neck. Breathing just normally into that stretch. Hold it there, right there, stay. Now let's open that arm side. We're gonna take that into a triangle pose on yoga. So we wanna stretch that left leg out, extend straight right knee. Now drop that arm down into your triangle. Now I'm gonna show a modification first. I don't wanna compress my knee, my hand is here, or if you can, slide it down, that will get you a bigger stretch. So let's try modified. I'll show modified so you can stay in that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Now, everyone's range of motion is different. Some of you will be able to go a little further. Others of you, not so much. That's fine. Just hold and breathe. And just shut your eyes for a second. 
Get in touch with that breath right there. Just hold, stay. Now very slowly take that hand behind your head. So you're touching the back of the neck and we're gonna extend that left arm and we're just gonna bend it to our side. Inhale and exhale. So I really feel the lengthening in my oblique there and I just wanna hang and breathe all the way. Excellent. Come up slow and bring it down. I just kind of shake out that arm, relax that head. Now take those feet back, we're gonna switch this. So we're sitting in the center of our chair. First stretch, we just place that elbow, not on the knee, on the center of the thigh. Our left arm is up, inhale and exhale. So see how my body goes over. Again, don't overstretch, don't force it. Use your breath to take your body lower, keeping that head nice and long and those abs are contracted right there. Just stay. Now we switch this into our triangle. So we're gonna slide out our left, reach that arm. Now again, all the way, if you can go a little bit lower. I'll hold it here, but see how I lengthen that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Look up towards that hand in that triangle pose. Now don't bounce. See, I'm holding, I'm not doing this. I'm just staying, breathing and releasing. Hold that body right there, don't bounce. Slowly open it out, excellent job. Now let's sit tall for our posture, we wanna round our shoulders, open them out. Again, exhale and inhale, I have two more. Exhale and inhale one more time, exhale and inhale, excellent. Now let's bring our feet together, clasp our fingertips here. Now we wanna reach with our lower back, Drop that head, inhale, and come straight out. Now watch that you're not doing this. You're straight out there. We're gonna extend our right heel and then our left. Let that back go. Press those arms down. So my head is still level. Inhale and exhale. I'm not bouncing, I'm just holding that stretch. Really breathing deeply so we're releasing our lower back right there. Relax that neck. Hold that position all the way and slowly take it up. Since we're going a little deeper with these stretches today, I don't want you to rush right out of them. So we take our time when we come up. Now, what we're going to do is one more yoga-based exercise that we're gonna incorporate our Pilates. So what I'd like to do is take those palms, prayer hands, again, don't close them, they're here. Slowly, you're just gonna take a little twist, inhale and exhale. Now remember, I'm not coming down here, I'm up and twist it with my left foot out, reaching. And remember, about a 20 second hold, stay there. And look at that leg, I don't wanna turn it out, I want my knee parallel to the ceiling. Just breathe, hold it there. Now again, your form, look at my form, try to mirror that, we're pushing those palms together. Lift that body up, come center, return the foot, now, other side, my knees are together. I kind of scoop it through right there, let my head follow, inhale. And a little bit more of a rotation. Now think about what you're doing, are your abs. Your abs should be contracted, your neck is long. Extend that right heel, not your toe, flex that heel. Take it deeper, keep that elbow up. Inhale and exhale. Stay right there, just hold that position all the way, stay, come up slow, return it back to center. Excellent, take it in. Now lower those arms and just kind of let them flow forward. And as you're flowing, I want you to contract, push it through. So this is an exhale and an inhale. Same thing, contract and lift. We have two more, contract and lift. One more, contract and lift, excellent. Just kind of shake out those arms. Now let's get a little bit more into our Pilates movement. So what I'd like you to do is sit all the way back in your chair. And remember the posture, we don't want to slouch. We want to sit really tall. We want to take our right hand at the side of our head. So what we're going to do is extend our left foot and we're slowly going to contract in and release out again. So contract, remember, don't bring that chest down. See how my chest is lifted? I'm just getting that rotation. I'm extending it out. Exhale, inhale. Don't pull on that neck. 
Use that left hand for a little resistance, pushing down and out. Now remember, if that's too much, I want you to slide it in, turn that body, stretch it out again. Slide it in and out, or I want you nice and high and out again. Exhale, let's take four reps. One and out, two and out, same thing. Breathe three, one more time, and four, right there. Excellent, lower that leg. Now place both arms in front of you. Try to see if you could, I mean, bring your leg just about two inches off the floor, not too high, just about two inches. That will engage your core. If that's too much, lightly, don't place that heel flat, lightly place it. But again, two inches, and we're pulsing. This is called the hundreds in Pilates. We're squeezing those abdominals and we're resisting down. Right there, five, four, three, two, hold. Slowly lower that leg, take those arms up. Inhale, and V, open those arms to a nice stretch. Contract forward, V, lift and hold, right there. Now gradually release those arms. Taking your legs together, let's just clasp our arms behind us before we do the other side. Open that chest, keep that head down. Inhale and exhale. Think of that chest lifted, your neck is nice and long. Take a second and close your eyes. A nice deep breath and an exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Relax that neck, excellent. Now let's take our arms down. We're going to do the opposite side. So this time, we're gonna take our left hand behind our head, right arm is out. Now remember, we're lifting it about two inches up or on the floor, either way. Right hand presses, you're either contracting. Now remember, we're not coming down. This is high, I'm just getting that rotation. So try it with me. In and out, exhale, inhale. No pulling on the neck, sit really tall. Squeeze those core muscles or you're down into the deep stretch of those abs right there. Exhale, inhale, breathe. I have five more, five. Again, pull that belly button into the lower back. Three, two, and one. Excellent job there, bring it down. Now reach those arms up, bring that foot in, inhale, and lift that chest. Keep that head long, keep those eyes closed. Deep breaths. Now contract forward, hold. And again, open that chest. Just breathe, release that neck. Now slowly take those arms down, and then we just wanna kinda of shake them out right here. Now from here, let's extend our left heel flat, our right leg crosses. Now sit, try to slide yourself back so your back is touching that chair. All I want you to do is lift those legs, bring them down. Exhale, inhale, up. And remember, you don't have to go too high, I just want you to get that contraction. Now watch what I do. Usually on the floor, when we do these Pilates exercises, is on a mat, so I'm doing everything simulating a chair. So watch the position first. We're scooping and releasing. It's like a pelvic tilt. And what I'm doing, I'm tightening my lower abs and I'm squeezing my glutes. That helps to lift me out of my chair. Exhale, inhale, up. If that's too much with the legs, you just wanna kinda of come forward a little bit and down. Forward, I'm still squeezing my abs and glutes, or I wanna come up and down. Exhale, inhale. You can do another set of five. Five, or you can modify right there again. Three, two, and one. Excellent job right there. Now take those legs out to the side. My feet are flat, my legs are side. Now my arms are here, very slow. I wanna come down to my knee and lift straight up. Exhale, inhale. Now sit tall, squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift, same thing. Over, four more. 
Take it slow. One, I'm not pulling on my head, my arms are side. Two, three, and four. Excellent, sit tall. Now keep those legs crossed, but feet on the floor. A little bit of a twist, inhale, and exhale. Bring those arms up. And same thing, try not to be down. See, I'm lifting out of my hips. I'm looking straight ahead. Breathe, slowly come down. Tighten those abdominals, come around to the center. Slow rotation right there. Deep breath in and exhale. Think again, your hands, someone's pulling up on those hands, lifting you out of your hips. Turning right there. Just stay and hold all the way. Excellent. Come down, come back around. Now uncross those legs. Take the arms, clasp them underneath you. Just pull forward, inhale and exhale. Let that gravity pull you down. Remember, you're not dropping your chest. You can still see my head. I'm right here. I'm reaching and breathing. Excellent. Now come up. Now this time, your feet are closer to you. You're sitting fully back in the chair. Take your hands, clasp under the leg. Now what I want to do is contract, sit down, then sit up. See, I push my shoulder blades back, so I contract down, and I lift. One more time, contract down, and lift. Now hold it there. If you can't, the leg can be lower, I want you to stretch it out, or if you can get a little higher, just stretch. It can even be on the ground with your arms lower, like this, but really extend that hamstring. I prefer if you can be up a little bit higher. Breathe in and exhale. Just release that head. Now from there, you're just gonna open, hold it there, and you're gonna contract in and out. Again, exhale, inhale, sit really tall. Squeeze, or this can be lower. This can be a squeeze and a release in and out, or you can be here, here, two more, two, and one. Take it over slow. Now just reach to the side, inhale, and exhale. Right there, just hold, come up slow. Now return that foot center, shake out those arms a little bit. And remember, you're sitting all the way back, your head is long, abs contracted. So don't relax those stomach muscles, press them into the lower back. Take the hands under. Now remember, if you can pull that leg up a little bit, it's fine. Never do this, never on top of the joint, always underneath. Now contract down and sit up, pressing. So open my shoulders, exhale, and inhale, sit up really tall. Let's do it one more time, exhale, contract. Hold, inhale, sit up tall. Now remember, your leg can be lower. Try to stretch it out there. Or if you can, ideally I'd want it up a little higher and extend, breathe in and exhale. Feel that full stretch or it can be a little lower. You can rest it on the chair if that's easier and just keep that foot flexed. Breathe in and drop those shoulders. Excellent, right there. Come down and then release that leg in. Now we're gonna take our arms wide to our side and we're gonna come over to a flat back. Then we're gonna press them behind us right here. So clasp those fingertips together, pull those shoulder blades together, deep breath in and exhale. So my chest is on my knees, but I'm not lowering my head. My head is still in a straight line. Stay and hold. Now slowly as we elevate our chest, we go the opposite way, we contract back. Inhale, and extend those legs, exhale. Right there, just hold, and come down. Now let's go back again, another Pilates exercise. So we're sitting back, we're gonna start with pointed toes. You can keep them low, but I prefer if you can elevate them a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a criss cross as we exhale or you can stay low to the ground. Tighten those center abdominal muscles and my legs are straight, feel those energy. So I don't wanna see this low, I wanna see straight, thigh over thigh. Exhale, right there. Now let's hold our balance. 
squeezing those abs and push down down let's do 10 or you can be lower again five more repetitions or we can be higher four three two one excellent heels together now hands behind your head if you'd like them lower that's fine what i want to do is drag those knees in drag them out so we want to take them low and squeeze again abs tight and squeeze now let's add the core exercise so we're pressing forward as we come up and we're lifting that chest down squeeze so the higher i get my legs the more i'm engaging my lower abs and lift to center or i can come down low and lift so i really feel that exhale squeeze inhale lift that chest again exhale squeeze inhale lift that chest let's do five more now see i'm not doing this i'm keeping this open three squeeze those abs two you have one more and one take it down slow great job there now let's extend those heels out to the side flex arm side now come over to a nice flat back and we want a side stretch inhale and exhale now look up towards that hand in a little bit of a rotation there breathe just drop into it all the way remember 20 seconds on these today same thing if you can't go as far you can just hold but hold the position and let the gravity pull you down as you breathe your abs are contracted just stay and come down slow. And remember, when you come out of these stretches, don't just drop right out. You wanna take it slow. See how I get into position? Heels are flat, inhale, and exhale. Release that head. Now look up towards that hand. And remember, if that's too much, you can be a little higher, but try to really stretch into it. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, come up slow. Now bring those legs together. As we turn around, we want to hold our body, press on that leg. Now place your right hand on your shoulder and look back. Inhale and exhale. Release that neck a little bit more of a rotation. Stay right there. Remember, my knees are together. Just hold. Now slowly come around first. Open both arms. So again, it's a process. You don't want to rush out of these positions. We want to turn slow, tighten the stomach, hand on the shoulder, place the opposite arm down. Inhale and exhale, a gentle rotation, holding. Now think about what you're doing. You don't want to be down. Look at my body. I want to be up out of the chair. My head is long and I just hold it right there. Just stay and hold come back around and open great job now let's separate our feet remember not too wide the rule should be the knee is aligned over the shoulder clasp your hands together here now we're going to come over the head not way back just over the center now we want to scoop it through and come up so this is an exhale and an inhale sit tall Squeeze those abdominals, let that head turn again, and contract, same thing. We wanna work, I always talk about this, the full body, not just the arms and legs. We have to involve our torso, upper and lower back. Turn, because we don't wanna get stiff, especially if we're sitting a lot. We wanna involve all of the muscles again. Exhale, I have four more of those. One, and up two and up three and up one more four and up right here open those arms now bring them to the side and what you're going to do is you're going to flip them forward flip them out sitting nice and tall let's take it again squeeze that back five four three two one more one and hold bring them down to the side and kind of alternate each shoulder up and down now let's do one more pilates exercise right here 
our legs are together. And what we're going to do is sit fully back in the chair. Now our arms are gonna be in front of us. We're gonna flex our right foot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift and tap. Exhale, inhale. Sitting tall, keeping my left foot flat. And up, again, up. If that's too much, you can just raise it slightly. You can always get just that heel off the floor, but raise those arms, squeeze those abs, or you can come here. See, I'm in a semicircle, I'm not straight, and I push. Exhale, I'll do modified. Four, three, I'm sitting out of my hips. Two, and one. Now hug your body here, just turn to one side, inhale. And exhale, drop that body. Release that neck, hold it right there. Stay. Now slowly return it to center. Remember, slight curve in those elbows. Left heel, we're up and push. And think of that resistance. I'm lifting my chest. I'm tightening my abs right there. Up and down or we can keep it a little lower. Everyone can at least get your heel off the floor. Just get a little action, tightening those lower abs. That helps you lift again. Lift, let's try four more reps. One, nice and slow. Two, three, one more. And four, excellent. Just clasp those arms. Now a little bit of a twist, inhale and exhale. Remember, don't drop that head, just get that twist to the side, hold it there, stay, come up slow. Now my arms, one on top of the other, I'm just gonna push down to a crunch, and I'm sitting up. Exhale, inhale, squeeze. Now watch what I do with my legs. I extend them, sit straight, out and in, and I'm squeezing my thighs, I'm applying a little Pressure right there. Five more. One, take your time. Two, three, four, and hold. Now a little crunch, crunch. Really contract those abs in, in. I have five, four, three, two, rest. Excellent arm side. Now it's kind of just like we're waving through water, back and forth, head is long. Excellent. Now let's do a stroke, like we're swimming all the way back. Open that chest, inhale, and exhale. Two more. You worked really hard. We kind of worked a little slower today, which sometimes is harder to really key into those muscles. One more time, up and over. You may be a little sore, tomorrow, which is fine, as long as it's muscle soreness. That's why I don't want our backs to have too much stress, why I keep reminding you to hold in your abs. Tilt your head to the right, drop that shoulder right there, hold, and center. Now gradually, one shoulder at a time. Up, two, and one. Now take them together, nice big stretch, sit tall for our posture, one more, now think again, that imaginary string, you wanna sit, pull those arms up. Now exhale, open that chest, contract forward, two more. Exhale and inhale one more time, nice and strong all the way up, all the way under, and release those arms all the way to the side. You did an amazing job today. We really worked hard. Slower, like I said, sometimes is harder. So just pay attention to your body. You wanna drink enough water and do a little bit more movement throughout the day so you won't be stiff tomorrow. I really look forward to our next session. Stay strong.